welcome to my channel motorsuckers hey it's your girl i am Ilo Hall. yes it's me a bunny this wig and your favorite pigacorn pigacorn <laughs> this is your first time seeing me all up on your screen well <laughs> you've done something right this year god has blessed you i want to give you a huge welcome if this is your first time here if you are already a unicorn and part of the gang welcome back sis welcome back you know your girl is always coming through with the looks the tea and the facts i actually want to change it to the looks the facts and the tea because i feel like that just rolls better the looks the facts and the tea the looks the tea and the facts hmm actually it works either way anywho i'm filming from a different location i'm also standing up i just wanted to be a little bit more active and i wanted y'all to see my wig like it's a bit bright like i wasn't expecting it to be this bright <laughs> But I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm here for her though. In case you are wondering, I got this unit from IC here. I was really trying to figure out if I wanted to do the pink or the blue. And I was like, you know what? Let me just do pink. Give you guys extra unicorn vibe. If you are not a fan of super bright colors, you can get curly hair, kinky hair, green hair, whatever hair you want. They got it on a website. Like I used to, I used to make my wigs, but nowadays it's like I don't have time. I don't have energy. And y'all know my nails been just my nails are still healing from the incident. So I love a company that already has the wigs pre-made. Experience um, minimal shedding. I guess this is like minimal. I've been brushing my hair all day and this is the only amount of shedding that I've received. I'll put all the information in the description box so be sure to check out this hair. Also, if you happen to get a color wig, make sure you tag me on Instagram. Are you following me on Instagram? Like, girl, so... <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany, Tiffany, Tiffany. Now, I may not look it. Well, I mean, they do say, you know, skinny girls are foodies. But I am a foodie, like wherever I go, I wanna know if it's clean, of course, but is there food? Is there gonna be food? Oh, Lo, you coming outside? Is it gonna be food there? No. Open bar? No. Okay, see, no, see, now you're pushing it. But there are just certain times, places, and spaces, okay, where you just, you, 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 you know. I actually don't know of any appropriate time to put fried chicken in your bag and just walk out the house you know what i'm lying i've stuck a little bit of you know knickknacks in my bag like i said i'm a foodie but i wouldn't do that at the met gala okay personally i'm just always gonna root for a black girl like that's just default whether she's light skin dark skin whatever i'm gonna root for you right that's just me i was really <laughs> hooked in to the tiffany hatter story i was hooked into her glow up i started to read her book and her book was called the last black unicorn so you know you know you know so i'm just like you know i'm feeling this girl i love her energy i love that she's authentic i love that she's herself and then i saw this interview with all the talk of diversity and how it's the most diverse group of nominees ever but twitter right now kind of seems to have a backlash about how there have been only white winners tonight and how we still have so far to go do you have any thoughts of how we kind of get to that next hurdle girl no i'm i'm not um i don't know how to do that i didn't go to college for that um i didn't even go to college or nor uh do i know how to solve problems like that if you was asking me how to structure a joke i could help you with that part but what you talking about right now i don't know i know is how to do my job that's somebody else job. i don't know that i don't know can't answer that one for you but i won <laughs> embarrassing to say the least like even if you're someone who doesn't know you know what i mean like say if she gen she honestly didn't know i would just give some sort of answer like the the least that you can say is you know what as a black woman i'm proud to have this award you know the black community is diligently working toward getting more representation in the media period even let's just say if she stopped at i don't know right say she wasn't prepped for this you know what i mean Matter of fact, I got one simpler for you. I don't know, but you know, I just can't wait for the day where we see more representation in the media. But not only did she just say, you know, I don't know. She said, I didn't go to college. I didn't study that in college. Then she said, matter of fact, I didn't even go to college. Okay, but I won. So that's all I know. Very cringy, very selfish very embarrassing response it's like literally that stereotype of like black people are uneducated black people only care about themselves vain ghetto 
and dumb. It's just like all wrapped in one answer. She did not just say, but I won. I've never in the history of speeches, <laughs> I've never in the history of speeches heard someone say, I don't know, but I won. Clearly you won, you got the award in your hand right now, sis. Ever since then, I pretty much just distanced myself away from Tiffany because whenever I saw her, I would be like rooting for her and it was just always a letdown. It was always an embarrassment. It was just always like, okay, but you're doing a little bit too much. Everybody wants people of color around because we literally bring spice to the party, right? Like we are the seasoning. You have mainstream white media and they are the example of how to act, how to carry yourself, how to speak during an interview. Me personally, I think that's very boring. Like, I love when people come on camera and I can relate personality wise like I'm not boring if I ever was to be on a red carpet and I had to explain like I, I use my hands to speak you know I, I laugh when things are not really funny <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I laugh out of you know I guess when it's nothing really funny being said I say you know a lot you know I just like <laughs> like when people have actual personality and I you know I love the personality I love the realness I love the bubbliness but it does get to a point where it's like okay like this is actually embarrassing I don't know I feel like this wig is picking up a lot of yellow in my skin and I don't like it <laughs> yellow slash neutral undertones but i'm just a lot more chocolate than this i just have to say that because i don't know you know i'm just just saying i ain't bleach or nothing i don't want nobody thinking you know. her jokes her commentary her personality her whole brand is literally a walking stereotype for black women like anything possible negatively and it's not even like the positive stereotype sidebar i'm gonna add some curls because i just wanted more curly when the whole who bit Beyonce thing was happening, I was just like, Tiffany, like, girl. Team too much Tiffany. TTTs. Team too much Tiffany. Well, M, yeah. But y'all know what I mean. Like, okay, if you're gonna be spilling tea, spill all the tea. Tell who bit Beyonce. You going on tour talking about some somebody bit Beyonce, somebody bit Beyonce. And then Beyonce said there's some, well, if you're not gonna tell who bit Beyonce, we don't wanna hear it. We don't care. <laughs> It's so bright, oh my god. Just a little bit more body, that's all. Now we fast forward and she's handing out chicken at the Met Gala. Keep it real. Did you think there was like hiking boots involved? Girl, I thought I was gonna get to wear a t-shirt, some walking shorts, and some boots, call it a day, bring some chicken. I still brought chicken just in case, hello. Wait, open that back, <laughs> Tiffany, oh, can I have a piece? Is that you for later? Piece of chicken? Yes, I want to go. Nah, nah, that's for me and Chris and everybody. Do they not feed you in there? You think with all this they money? Think we all models or something. So I said, you know, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'm going to bring some chicken. No, I have to ask you, today was a big day. Good girlfriend, if anybody looking for one, I'm always going to have something for us to eat. <laughs> Babies is popping up everywhere, and I'm ovulating. Is that a hint? Are you ready for babies? No, I'm ready to pretend like we're going to make one. Well, tonight could be the night. There's a I lot. Oh, I ain't got no drawers on. It's camp, baby. Hey, I ain't got no panties on. It's camp time. All she was missing was some watermelon, some grape Kool-Aid, some hot sauce on her bag, swag. It's like at this point, it's no longer authentic. It's no longer funny. It's really just kind of sad and almost predictable at this point. It's like when you see Tiffany, you know that there's going to be some type of stereotype. Five, four three up dip ship up three okay it's more than just a joke it's more than just you know trying to stand out and be funny like you're literally embarrassing now i don't like to bring race and color into everything but when it applies it applies interesting to me how cardi b and tiffany haddish they're literally like the same person in different bodies <laughs> When I see Tiffany, I see Cardi. When I see Cardi, I see I'm going to take a lot of
of people because a lot of people help me with my success, so here it goes. I want to thank my publicist, Patience. I want to thank my team, Partisan, and um, who else? Um, um, I want to thank my man, Ew. I want to thank my fans, Barty Gang, because Because even when I'm wrong, they be like, she's still right. And I want to thank my haters, too, because... <laughs> because they be downloading my stuff so they can hear it and talk crap about it, but it benefits me. <laughs> because <laughs> my stuff so they can hear it and talk crap about it, but it benefits me. <laughs> I feel like the people in both of their camps, like in Tiffany's camp and in Cardi B's camp, there's nobody saying like, sis, you're doing too much. They laugh, they co-sign, and these women continue to do what they do. Y'all let me know what y'all thought of this video. Okay, but make sure you give this video a giant thumbs up subscribe to my channel your girl is almost at a hundred K Yo, you might as well just subscribe. It's free. It's free 99 sis And you'll get to see more of me and more pick a corn. Thank you guys for watching I look forward to talking to you guys in the comment section until next time Bye.